Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your BlueStacks or literally any Android emulator to your VS Code or other platforms and IDs to debug your Android projects, whether it is Flutter or React Native, doesn't matter. So in this case, I don't have BlueStacks here in my platforms to choose, just Windows and Chrome. So what to do? First thing first, just go to the BlueStacks settings, all the way down advanced, and you should turn this on. This should be turned on. If this is turned off, just turn it on. This is the permission that we need to use BlueStacks as our bridge. And this is very important. This address 127.0.0.1 column 5555. This is the local host column 5555. Local host. Uh, on 5555 port. So after turning this on, you may see BlueStacks here. But if not, this is the thing that you, you're going to do. Just go to your Android SDK folder, the folder that Android SDK is available. If you got Android Studio, you can easily find this folder from Android Studio. But I don't have Android Studio, and I've just installed Android SDK separately from Android Studio. So go to Android SDK folder, Platform Tools, and here the thing that we need ADB. And to use it, just come here on Windows CMD. This is the path which matches this path. Just type ADB, connect the local host column 5555. This is the address that we saw on BlueStacks. And if you just let me show the VS Code here. If you enter this command, you see this message connected to localhost 5555 and immediately my PC is a little bit slow but if you've got a good PC or laptop immediately immediately you see one plus a 5000 or if uh, your BlueStacks has a different name in my case this is the name of my BlueStacks you see it here it's easy and we can test it just run our project flood project and as you see it works properly but the thing is you may need this command and using this command adb connect localhost 5555 again and this is just weird to do this every time finding this adb it just takes a lot of time so what you can do is just just copy this path of adb where the adb exists the path copy this go to the environment variables here go to advanced environment var variables come to system variables path edit press new and just copy the path hit enter okay 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 after adding the path you can just Use ADB wherever you want. Just like here. I'm on desktop. And I use ADB connect localhost 5555. And it says already connected to localhost. So that's it. And I hope it helps you and solve your problem.